Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is 19 to the power of n equals negative 19. So we are solving for the value of n that satisfies this equation. So let's have it this way. I have 19 to the power of n equals this negative 19 here. I can express it as negative 1 times 19. So I can apply natural log. I have natural log of 19 to the power of n equals natural log of negative 1 times 19. So from here, if you have natural log of a to the power of b, this is b times natural log a. So we have n times natural log 19 equals natural log negative 4 times 19. Now also, if you have natural log of a times b, this equals natural log a plus natural log b. Applying that here, you are simply going to have n times natural log 19 equals natural log negative 1. That is a plus natural log 19, that is b. Remember, this is my a and this is my b. So, for this, we know that square root of negative 1 equals i. So, if you take the squares of both part of this equation, so we have negative 1 equals i power 2. So, we have times natural log of 19 equals natural log of this is i power 2 plus natural log of 19. Now, remember natural log of a power b equals b times natural log a. So the two count behind this, I'll have n times natural log of 19 equals 2 times natural log i plus natural log 19. So, the next thing we are going to do is to isolate n, right? I divide this by natural log 19. I divide this by natural log what? 19. This cancel this. I have n equals 2 times natural log i plus natural log 19 divided by natural log 19. So from here, if n equals 2 times natural log i, dividing by a common denominator, this is the natural log 19 plus natural log 19 divided by natural log 19. So this, this, this one here, cancel this, so we have and then equals 2 times natural log i divided by natural log 19 plus 1. So this becomes our answer based on this approach. So let's consider this other identity. If you have 19 power n equals negative 19, that means I can apply natural log right now. Natural log 19 power n equals natural log negative 19. And if you have natural log a times b, this equals natural log a plus natural log b. If you have natural log a power b, equals b times natural log a. Applying that here, I'll have n times natural log 19 equals natural log negative 19. So from here I have n times natural log 19 equals natural log. This I can express as negative 1 times 19. So from here I go back to this particular identity. 
this identity here, which is natural log A times B equals natural log A plus natural log B. So we have N times natural log 19 equals natural log negative 1 plus natural log 19. So from here, if you have e power i times pi plus 1 equals 0, meaning e power i times pi equals negative 1. So, applying that here, I will have n times natural log 19 equals natural log, this is e power i times pi, that is negative 1 there, plus natural log 19. I remember natural log a power b equals b times natural log a. So applying that here, that means we have n times natural log 19 equals i times pi times natural log b plus natural log 19. So from here, just cancel this. I have n times natural log 19 equals i times pi plus natural log 19. So right now I can isolate m, divide this by natural log 19, divide this by natural log 19. This cancel this. So what I'm going to have will be n plus i times pi plus natural log 19 divided by natural log 19. So from here, n equals i times pi divided by natural log 19 plus natural log 19 divided by natural log 19. So from here, we have n equals i times pi divided by natural log 19 plus this cancel this, we have 1. So we have i times pi equals, here we have i times pi, and which equals this other one we have 2 times natural log of i. This and this are not the same. So guys, this is it, and this is how you solve this exponential problem step by step and don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends thank you oh goodbye